The next game is called Antenna Dilemma, and it is by Goloso Games. Uh, I, I will say Ciao Goloso. Ooh, Ciao Goloso. Uh, met met him at Adventure X last year. Lovely fellow. Uh, yeah, we met, yeah. Yes. Uh, I mentioned this at the start, but he's also the person who did um, uh, Inspector Waffles. And I see and we are in the chest. of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> we are in uh, sort of the same pixel art y kind of world. I love this TV remote UI we've got going here. Okay, just gonna check some options. Lovely. I love an exhaustive options menu. <laughs> Oh, Chadley says, "Where did you get the cool T-shirt? My T-shirt? Again, it's it's just the it's just where I work. It's a business college, and it just has a fancy name." <laughs> oh, and and Goloso says, "Would be happy to comment on the game, but I lost my voice. I'm a bit sick." Well, oh, we sorry, have, we have a number. Yeah, you can of... type it down. Type down what you want to say, and have people voice act for you. Yeah, I was just gonna say we have a number of excellent voice actors in. I can do like five minutes max of talking. Well, if you want to waste five minutes of your life, uh, uh, the voice uh, talking on the stream, you're more than welcome. <laughs> but uh, I'll just get into a new game while you decide for yourself. I can make you sound like Metal, Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Gemini was the protagonist in the previous game. Uh, who wants to be this lovely boxy looking fellow? Yeah, I can be the box. Yes, Pickle Dog is the box. I believe no, uh, I am the box. To join the voice chat, though. I see. Mail Gear? Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, let me just get Goloso Games in the voice chat so he can say hello. If, you, if you're on my, on my Discord, I actually do not know if you are. These are, these are things I should check out before I invite people. <laughs> Professionalism, who said we had it? No, 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 no. Professionalism is, is certainly not what we are. <laughs> oh, he's, 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 a, he's on his way. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I've got an invite link right here that, you know, everyone else is free to join as well. Yes, the more the merrier. Absolutely. Da -dum -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Well, I'm sick of being the only hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Need more hostages. Come. Shut up and enjoy it. <laughs> Come to the dungeon where the where the love is being held. Um, right. So let's just play the game while uh, we work out this stuff. Only one hour till um um to go till should I open the box comes on. Man, I love that show. Well, you are a box, and there's a show called Should I Open the Box. Ooh. <laughs> There's nothing else on right now. What is all this rubbish? <laughs> Unboxing stuff? Think outside the box? Commercials? All trash. Seriously, who's still watching Keeping Up With The Square Dash <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rizulka. Hey, Rizulka. Oh, Rizulka, hello. I have 200 TV channels in this thing, and still there's nothing on? And we will soon have the amazing horse voice of Goloso Games in the voice chats. Woo! Come on, there must be something. <gasps> yes, a giant explosion! Whoa, what the hell was that? No, no, no! <laughs> oh, the TV's gone wrong. I can't miss my favorite show. I'd never miss a single episode. This is a disaster. It's kind of a change of pace from the previous game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love doing these one-off evenings. It's just, oh, good. Chapter one, square eyes. There's going to be a lot of box puns in this, isn't there? Also, welcome Goloso Games. Welcome Goloso Games in the chats. He, he might he, still be working out how to get microphones to work in Discord. He currently has no audio to us. Okay, don't panic. What's the procedure again? Uh, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> procedure 4P23.1, and I can take care of it myself? Or 
Medical Procedures 3P 12.7 and I call the, the emergency services. I don't remember. I'm just going to flop onto my back and roll around for a bit. <laughs> hmm. Maybe there's a clue hidden somewhere around the TV. <laughs> Everything has to happen around the TV. He's got a black box. Of course he has a black box. Ah, uh, shit. Mike's not working Is that a very GameCube? well. It could be. Oh, yeah, of course his his uh, his game choice of choice would be the GameCube choice. <laughs> Roll around as a box might be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> This little black box gives every everyone so many channels to watch on TV. Lovely. And it's totally free. The dust gives them away to, to everyone. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm dying, <laughs> but that's fine. I can wow. see you all out there. Sorry for that. <laughs> I I'm deeply sorry to say this, but it's it sounds like you're Darth Vader speaking into a megaphone. It's yeah, I'm your, yes, I'm, I'm your father. Step away, step away <laughs> from the microphone. <laughs> can I just uh, let's see if can I? No, that's not how. Oh wait, I can turn down your user volume a bit. I'm not sure that's gonna help uh, at all. But hello, very good hello. to have you. Very good to have you in the voice chat, sir. And um, thank you for sending me this game to play. And I'm glad you yeah, can make no it. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I will stay like I don't know, like five minutes maximum because it's really hard for me to talk. So just to say hello to everyone. Oh well, hello, hello. hello. It, it was lovely. Uh, I'm already in the past tense. Yes, we will miss him. We will <laughs> <laughs> we'll remember him fondly. Um, yeah. But it was. It was good. Game is almost done, so I can die peace, peacefully. <laughs> but it was. It was lovely to meet you at Adventure X uh, last year, yeah, and. And uh, this seems like a, qu a lovely, quaint little uh, excursion. Again, there are some oppressive overtones to this, much like the previous game. And there's sort of a there's there's talk of procedures. Uh, is this gonna go into like Kafka esque territory as well? Uh, what, do, what do you mean, sorry? Oh, uh, uh, Franz Kafka, bureaucracy, ah, everything's. Okay, yes, exactly. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. It's... It sometimes it's going to be a bit tedious for the player because it's very bureaucratic. Mm. And uh, but it's, I guess it's. I make it for fun, so I hope you really like it. But it's. Uh, I wanted to do something like a dystopian, but uh, in a boring town. <laughs> um, well, you seem, uh, to, you, seem, you seem to have the box puns under control at the very least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, and uh, they are in the box world, so there are TVs, there are, I don't know, there are, everything is you know, shaped like a box. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the... Does the puzzle solving involve some thinking out of the box? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like Thanks, the protagonist just made that joke literally five minutes ago. Yeah. Like maybe this time is already in the Maybe I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so what, what was the reason for making everything? I mean, even the cursor is a box. What was the reason for all the box? Uh, I don't know actually. I I saw about this uh, this uh, story about uh, cubes. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe ten years ago. And uh, I started to do Adventure Jam last year, mm. and uh, I said, okay, let's, let's do this game with this idea I got 10 years ago. And uh, so you that, it felt like it, and I had no story, I just said, okay, let's have these boxes and see what happened. Um... Raiders of the Lost Box, now that sounds like a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The Squaminator. <laughs> yeah, it's. I did this uh, this game during a jam. It was a 15 day jam, and uh, uh, I need to find the uh, points, but very quickly. So some of them are not very. <laughs> I want to say, so, okay, let's. It's the first thing on my mind. Okay, it will be in the game. Um. I don't know. Maybe it's a it's a language thing, but box also has a slang connotation in the U.S. <laughs> at least. That 
uh, is the reason why we're giggling so much at Raiders <laughs> of the Lost Box. I'm just gonna. Um, I mean, I'm I, hashtag second language myself, um, so I, I know how <laughs> how it can feel once when you inadvertently make a very hyper sexualized joke. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Okay, it's fine. It's a sexual game, so, so that's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to embarrass you. I... No, no, I'm not. I'm not the new. <gasps> yes! Brand new pack of sticky notes, and they are indeed square. So... Well, let's I try like and... that his house has, like, four locks. Three locks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the door just leads to neighborhood. <laughs> and not a good one by the looks of it. Yes, Chatterley in the chat has confirmed um, the thing I tried to dance eloquently okay. around. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, okay. No, me either. Okay. And of course, this being uh, you know a, a, <laughs> a stream for old people who act like they're 13 years old, this is all we're going to be able to think of. <laughs> <laughs> Is my, is my phone something sexual in English too? Or? If if phone is waffle, waffles, waffles. Oh, waffles, waffles. Uh, not to my knowledge. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oof. I mean, if you if you stick around long we enough, can make sure, it that yeah, way. we can, yeah, we can turn it into something. <laughs> we can make it that way. Now, now Inspector, on the other hand, no, yeah, okay. the way. <laughs> I can call people. Not like the other game, you know. No. <laughs> I don't know, no one's picking up, so... <laughs> oh, pickle talk. What? <laughs> this is an old picture of my parents. Um, C321234 and C352345. Oh, you're actually pretty good at that. I should visit them more often. But there's so much good stuff on TV, I never found time. Okay, he may have a problem. He may have... Mm. Uh, this is going to be a, a deep and psychological exploration of someone's unbridled TV addiction and also his colorblindness. Okay, do I pay the TV to stop messing around? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I... Uh, Can we take the TV itself yet? <laughs> Nothing but static. Need to fix the antenna, so we need to get up on the roof. And not through the oh door, because that would climb out the window. No. What's in all the boxes? Oh. A personal collection of cubes. Light grey, mid grey, dark grey. All the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's a symbol of my support for the way dust governs our town. So this is technically in color. <laughs> this is his, his kind of color. At least it's not blue da ba dee da ba da. All right. <laughs> Set of sticky notes. Can't use them for <laughs> anything. Anything that needs noting yet. Um... <laughs> kind of running out of hot spots. Items? Uh, yeah, you can just use them on something. Oh. So. Uh... Uh, See, an object you did not. Uh, look at it. Is there? There's an object I did not look at. TV I've done. Drawer I've done. Black box picture. These boxes. Phone. Uh, did you actually look at the black box? I did. Yeah. He said it was. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. I don't. And it's totally free. The dice gives them away. On the front side, there's a small oh. label. Oh. oh, there you go. In the event of emergency, call twenty one zero two. All right, I will do that. 2102. Hello, this is C43 2632. Um, Listen, you need to help me quick. It's an emergency. My television is not working and it's less than an hour until my favorite show starts. Sorry, just catch the rerun. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sounds like a dangerous antenna. This is a real emergency. Will you be able to get to your local re TV retail store back in time? Yes, it's just down the street. Just head down there and buy a new damn TV. <laughs> <laughs> the Apple Macintosh way. 
If no one's there, you can borrow the antenna without leaving an excuse, not according to Government Order 4 y 29 Thank you for your help. Uh, right away. They already hung up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're off to get an antenna. Oh, this is lovely. And this is one of those games where uh, if you click around, he, he's not actually going to move anywhere. This is um, basically yeah. you just get a screen with a lot of hotspots in it, but it's not a hidden object game. Also, square squirrels. That's hard to say. Squirrels. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. Yeah. <laughs> but does it have square roots? <laughs> Pretty not sure it's box. not a box tree, though. <laughs> Can I bribe a squirrel? Oh. Uh, so did you did you assume again that it's a square web? Or because uh, I, I use it actually in the game, square worlds. You do? What? No, yeah, we yeah, did. Yes, yes, I did. Well, in that case, I, I I believe Pickle Dog may have outsmarted you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, I, I can't talk anymore, so enjoy. Uh, I'm still here, and uh, have a good have a good night. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much for joining. But I'm still on the chat, but uh, it's too complicated for me to talk. So no. if you have any question, just. I will answer with my keyboard. It's really easier for me. Oh, sure, sure. Go dr uh, drink lots of water, have a cup of tea, and uh, and thanks yeah, again thanks. for uh, for showing me the game. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Drink some tea. Cheers. Good night. I'll brew. <laughs> drink some brew. Yeah. It solves yeah. everything. It's good for you. Yeah, the couple says this is the this is the most depressing Among Us Entertainment game. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, and what do you want? What do you want? You'd better have a damn good reason to be disturbing me when I'm trying to watch TV. He looks like he comes it's... from the 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> it's C4326-32, your neighbor. Listen, my TV is broken. I just want to get in, get onto the roof to fix it. But I need to go through your house to get up there. How do I know you're not a thief? Do you have any documents or anything? I'll bet you're not even a licensed technician. <laughs> I'm not trying to rob you, but no, I don't have any documents. Please just hear me out. I'm sorry, but no one gets into my house without the appropriate paperwork. Good day, good sir. On telly ho. <laughs> Steal his mail. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Better not look inside. It's illegal. <laughs> According to the rule, bad. don't do anything bad. Oh. Wait, what about law um, um, F823? If doing something bad will, will allow you to watch a, a TV show on town, <laughs> then oh. you can do it, provided an excuse notice left at the scene of the crime. <laughs> yeah, but the dude on the phone I... said he didn't need to leave an excuse note, <laughs> didn't he? I don't know. Well, I guess it's okay then. Oh. Just a confirmation of that for my delivery. My neighbor's phone number is written here, though. 4534. Right. Should I leave my little. Yes. <laughs> it was an emergency. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, if, if that is the case, why don't we just break down his door? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Steal his cane and uh, maybe poke a squirrel with it. <laughs> yes, but do the squirrels have square nuts? Yes. I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> How is he writing this all down on a post-it? Uh, he's, he's got very lovely handwriting. All right. Uh, his phone number was in there. 4534. Hello, hello. Oh, person. Hello, hello. <laughs> I have no idea what to say to my neighbor. Goloso says because according to law seven X forty three, you can't break doors even in case of broken antenna. You need to check your cube law. All right. <laughs> I, God, come on. I, I, I should have done more research before. No, ignorance. Cube is no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so there's my antenna. It is clearly broken. 
What happened? The antenna was totally wrecked. One of the fucking squirrels did it. Probably. Yeah. Okay, so we got shots and we got shot an antenna. antenna store, yeah. Let's go, let's go get some antennas. Question is, is how is your neighbor's TV working in your business? If the antenna's broke. Well, maybe he has an antenna on his roof. Yeah, because he, he had like a tall building, so you have to go all the way. His antenna is fine. Also, can I just say, I like how the words on the billboards are all in block lettering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. See, 35, 23, 11, an absolute megastar. They call him the TV King because he sold thousands of TVs in his life. I'm usually not a fan of celebrities, but he does seem like a nice guy. Every year he does a huge giveaway donating televisions to the poor. And he looks like a McDonald's fries cup. <laughs> Customs. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Hey, what are you doing here? You should be at home watching TV. My antenna was broken. Something fell on my house. Call the emergency hotline. That's no excuse to be wandering around the neighborhood in the middle of the day. <laughs> okay, so we disturb you. Just get going. I don't want to miss my show. Wow, people are really into TVs here. Ooh, broken panel. Antennas. Oh, oh, so it's not the antenna shop. It's just a place where they have antennas. Oh. The dust does so much for us. The whole town was built to allow us to watch TV in peace. So also look, look, Mrs. for the stuff on the ground then. Yeah, this is, this has a sinister undertone to it, I think. Mm. Mm. The billboard has fallen over. According to the law, um, it's 3.45, you can take anything lying around on the ground provided no one else is interested in taking it. Hmm, but how do I make sure no one else is interested? We will leave a the only one there. Take it before someone else gets there. <laughs> Hello? Does anybody want this metal bar I've just found? No one? Okay, th this metal bar's mine now. And now let's go, you know, kick some heads in. I shall use it to open a door. No? Or not? No? Can this we? This is not beneath the steel scar. Apparently not, no. Can we beat a squirrel? No. Alright, let's go to the shops. See if anyone will hand over their shit. If threatened by metal bar. Oh, always look in the trash. No? Hmm? Except for. Everything is empty except for a candy wrapper. Ah. Mm. Caram box. A caram box? And it has a joke written on it. What does a healthy cube have for dinner? What does a healthy oh, don't, cube Don't, don't, don't. Damn it! Squid! <laughs> I honestly didn't, didn't. Yeah, alright, so Gemini is clearly smarter than me. We already knew that. Well, this puts it up where it belongs. Back in the bin. I thought I was gonna say. I thought I was making a joke like that. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say framed on my wall. <laughs> um, vending machine. Does it have antennas? No. This vending machine is totally tapped out. Uh, lies. <laughs> There's one thing in there. <laughs> well, the chips, soda, and candy have already been taken. All that's left is one measly salad. I will have a boxed salad, please. <laughs> who buys salad from a vending machine anyway? I'll tell you who does. This guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that only takes coins. Dang. <laughs> All right, grocery store. Can you exchange? I come here to get my shopping. It's closed at the moment. I'm on my TV break right now. Come back in one hour. From the way this place has been going, isn't that like all the time? Yeah. Also, this mm, is... It's like... Oh, sorry, yeah? Oh, uh, I was just going to say, this is giving me all sorts of flashbacks to that... Um, uh, the Feeble Files, if anyone knows that game. No, uh, I haven't seen it. Yep. Robert Llewellyn, uh, the guy who played Crichton on Red Dwarf, uh, voices an alien who works for the oh. Crop Circle Division. Uh, <laughs> basically, what he does is just he flies to Earth, makes crop circles, and confuses the hell out of everyone, and then leaves again. Um, but his world is governed by the Omnibrain, who also you know spouts uh, paragraphs of law at him constantly, and he keeps quoting you know the the laws state that so and so. So that is and, and you know oppressive society governed by ridiculousness, all that sort of thing. Getting a couple and of vibes like, from that. It's like I get that the um, 
that they're very good at keeping their um their, their citizens online, but nobody seems to be able to do any work either. <laughs> well, they're boxes. What the fuck is that thing? Mm. What? It's like a box dog or a box turtle or. A... I'm gonna go with box turtle. Anybody? <laughs> you, you can help me, anyone? Hmm, this place is deserted. Well, oh, aside from this box turtle. Oh, it was a box turtle. Yeah, it's a box turtle. Just <laughs> in the shop. Oh, I'm on my own. I need to find a way to watch TV anyway. Well, you're in a TV shop. You could just settle down here. Game over. We win. But no. say, it's Bo like, wait a minute. A box turtle vigilante. <laughs> it is a box turtle <laughs> vigilante. Um, I, sh I shall defeat it with this metal bar. <laughs> you got an achievement for that. I got an achievement for that. It doesn't show up on, on the stream, unfortunately, but I got an achievement that says box turtles are our friends. All right, so let's not. No, Jesus! Well, nice bit of animation. That's like the most animation I've seen. I've seen all <laughs> <Yeah>. game. <laughs> oh, he sounds angry. I, I bet he hasn't been fed yet today. Maybe if I get him some food, he'll let me pass. Oh, salad. Salad. Is that is that a cash cash register? Register? Oh, cash register. Yeah, yeah. Cash well, register. Actually, I don't know if it was a hotspot. Yeah, it was. was it? Oh, yes, it was. Okay. We don't have any robberies around here. Shops feel so safe they don't even bother with putting any security on the cash registers. There's a speech change here, but I'm not a thief, so I'll leave it behind. No, 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 no. See, I see. also don't have a good memory because I forgot about my damn dollar bill. <laughs> According to Cube Law 45.6, you can swap two things whenever you need to, provided they have the same intrinsic value. He has a photogenic memory. Uh, wait, um, what was it? Eidetic memory. Eidetic yeah. memory, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I still remember all the laws I learned in elementary school. <laughs> I was just going to say. Yeah, th this is very, very dystopian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should probably explain everything to oh, the owner on an excuse note. No. According to Cube Law um, 45.6, I had switched my cash with some of your points. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. But I'm within. But I'm. But I am within my rights. Ah, just hit the uh, cord to my <laughs> my <laughs> headphones and just knock them clean up. Um, this whole "I'm within my rights" kind of business. This is this is disturbing. I mean, it, it has has such yeah. awful connotations. Uh, hey, Dems the law. I can't. Mm. <laughs> oh, God's C forty three twenty six thirty two. Well. We are still operating. We are operating within the law. I have just enough money to get the salad. For reasons. One coin, two coins, three coins, four coins. Nine coins. Sorry, forgot how to count. <laughs> One salad, please. Oh. Yeah, the machine ate my money. Oh. Of course it did. That's how it works. Well, the machine stole from me. I guess it's only fair. I'll steal it back. Yes. Metal bar. Metal this. Bar. Yeah. Fuck you. The vending machine stole my money. Yep, we're aware of that. Uh, according to the law, to if the people not, if someone steals something from you, you can steal it back, no matter the cost. No matter the cost, you can basically. This is an interesting society. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's going to cost this machine a window. <laughs> hmm. well, that was kind of a bad thing to have done, destroying a vending machine just to get a piece of salad. Nah, I'm, I'm I okay with that. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> I'm starting to sense a theme with this game. It's a lot of qu uh, quoting regulation and leaving notes. <laughs> I'm sorry for breaking the video machine window, but it stole money from me. <laughs> According to blah 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 blah, I can take it back. <laughs> I'm with it by sorry rights. for the inconvenience. But I'm within my rights. Oh. Uh, yes, lovely society, this. Oh, it's beautiful. I sense so something very, very, very bad is going to happen to him. <laughs> Chad Lily goes, Come on. No, break the law. We're not. Because we're within our rights. Luke Harper says, Hey, Cannon, this is the future of cannibals. <laughs> 
Yes, he's eating it. Good boy. We're friends now, right? Yes, box turtles are our friends. And now we antenna. Replacement antenna for, for use in case of emergency only. It's definitely an emergency. Oh, they told me to get what I needed from here, and I need this. But should, should we leave a note? note. <laughs> yeah, Maybe we well, should. said to leave a note, yeah. <laughs> uh, carry on. <laughs> I can't be writing excuse notes for every little thing I do. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm a real bad guy. Whoa, whoa. I'm a rebel without a cause. I'm going to not leave a note. <laughs> we, uh, wait, there's no place to leave a note can't leave a note. So this is going to come back to haunt us later in the game, isn't it? Yes. The one time we forget to leave a note. Especially considering it was a, th it was a thing the game explicitly asked you to leave a note for in the first place. Yeah. Actually, That's... I thought it did. I, th I thought the guy on the phone said you didn't need to in this case. Oh, you, I think you're right. Maybe he did. Uh, again, I, I, I'm very bad at paying attention. Uh... Miss, oh, he's. Oh, you piece of. Oh, did we sabotage his camera. cameras? That would no. They're not hotspots. Okay, because th that's that's going a bit, what well, a bit a step too far. I think hero mailbox. <laughs> no mail today. I'm still waiting for this month's month's issue of a squim magazine to arrive. Box pants, we got them. Oh. <laughs> The puns! <laughs> the puns! Okay, so we can't get up to our own roof from here. Um, we could call so, him up again. Maybe we've got something to say to him now. 4534? Yeah, try calling him again. 4534? Maybe yep. if you take the letter and show it to him. Basically, know, confirmation of a delivery. You. You know, you act like you're the delivery guy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but I can't pick it up. He just has uh, a look at it. Can you uh, can you show him the antenna? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. No. Maybe, maybe with the camera. Or no, they're not hotspots. They're not hotspots. Hot but I, I like the idea mm. of just walking up to someone's house <laughs> under their security cameras and waving an antenna like a mad person. <laughs> How about this guy? <laughs> this guy must... Oh, wait. Oh! Nope, shouldn't disturb this dude again. Nope. So, what's the chip said, so? Let's find out. <laughs> Disguise yourself, says Sheldon. But with what? Once you open the box, you just can't stop. <laughs> Man, just looking at it just makes me hungry. I love chips. But I can't eat them if I want to stay in shape. You're <laughs> hard for these ages. <laughs> uh, there's a tonal shift in this game that I am all over, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Uh, uh, Beneath the Steel Sky and the, the sequel, Beyond the Steel Sky, I have, I have such high hopes that it will it will match that tone of the original, where it was, on the one hand, it was funny, it was sarcastic, and on the other hand, it was very serious and very dire. Yeah. And there's that sweet spot in the middle. And so far, if you can if you can overlook the terrible puns, I'm sorry, Golosa, but they are truly terrible. <laughs> uh, but justified, somehow justified. Um, then I I really like the uh, t I mean I like that it's all black and white and disturbingly depressing, but also it's a cute box on legs. Oh, I think I'm being hinted Johnny at. Johnny says, edgy. Edgy. Golosa says, maybe there are other things to do in the shop. Ah. The one shop we can actually... get into. Serenia says, are they making a sequel for Beneath the Steel Sky? Yes, they are. Uh, they just announced it a couple of... Uh, what was it? Was it last week? I think it was last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a cap. I can disguise myself. Oh. Uh, this is a delicious cap. Only a licensed technician can wear one of these. Hmm, if I wear it, my neighbor might be fooled into thinking I'm a technician. I wonder what regulation will help me, um, you know, do that. Wow, maybe I should work for the DAS. I feel powerful in this thing. Bargolosa says we need another thing. We probably need a uniform as well. 
There's procedure. a procedure. There's a procedure. Okay, so this is a procedure for fixing antennas. So all I have to do is say this. According to law 183.2, I require access to your roof to fix a, a broken antenna. Hmm. People have to let me in the house if I say that. Wow. <laughs> It would be so That's, easy for for technician to rob someone. <laughs> That's the one law he doesn't remember. Yeah. Also, why did he not arrive at this conclusion earlier when he literally broke a vending machine? To. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I guess that was it. I guess we don't actually need more of a disguise than that. Also, as Macabre says, we could go the extra mile and wear the turtle as protection. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. not sure it would it would you know be good with that. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I think you have to phone him first now that you now that you know what to do. All right, four five three four. <laughs> Hello. According to law eight and three point two, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. <laughs> right now? <laughs> yes, right now. Uh, okay, come over. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. I've already hung up. He hung up on me again. What a mask guy. <laughs> <laughs> Precise levels of snark in that reading. Applause. Applause, good sir. <laughs> oh, no. What? Do I have to... Hit his doorbell again, or...? Oh, yeah, of course, the intercom. Hello, according to law 8 and 3.2, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. Me are not a licensed technician. You're not wearing the official cap. Oh, oh what? yeah, I forgot to bring it with me. Uh, <laughs> well, you're not coming in here without one. For some reason, the so protagonist said that. the cap on, yeah. Can I just wear it? <laughs> Official technician's cap? Yes, put it. Put it the fuck on. Do I do, use yeah, it on the intercom? Put it on the intercom? Oh, oh right, okay. Right. Used it on the intercom. Oh, yeah. Let me check. Okay, looks good. Come on in. Please, don't take too long. I don't want to miss my favorite show. Well, no, that's, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Lovely sound effect, by the way. Yes, yes, I know who you are. Just be quick about it. Sure, no problem. I better move fast. My show will be starting soon. <gasps> Perfect he's cue. Gonna... Sorry, what was that? Said he's gonna miss his show, isn't he? Uh, I hope not. We've we've done so much mayhem already. Oh, what a perfect cube! What a great way to honor the DAS. I'd love to add it to my own collection. <laughs> How much must a cube this NAS cost? There's got to be a regulation somewhere here where I can just, you know, bludgeon this man over the head <laughs> and just steal his very nice cube. Big Witch has some perks. Alright, let's go to the roof and just fix our antenna, see if that's uh, the end of the game. I Why? What just happened? You I, went to the exit. I did. I thought I thought there was it was the exit to the roof. Balcony. balcony. I will balcony the shit out of this. <laughs> Here I am, bobbing up and down in a lovely time. These squirrels are gonna give me trouble, aren't they? There's a gap between the two roofs. It's way too far for me to jump it. <laughs> oh, I thought you weren't trying to get in shape. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just uh, use this. Uh oh, we broke the game. Oh, I, I was afraid I broke the game. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, so we... Metal bar won't work. Uh, uh, check the hot spot on the right, Nate Bor's house. You can go back. Oh, you just that's just the way to go back there. Okay, sorry. yeah. I thought it was another neighbor. Sorry. But maybe he has uh, a very large mm. ladder hiding somewhere. Can you climb on the tree? Nope. The tree has stopped being a hotspot. Yeah, antenna totally wrecked. We know. And the gap... Oh, it's too short to make a bridge. <laughs> yes, something like... Maybe the antenna. <laughs> Wait, really? Maybe I can use the antenna to make a bridge. Yeah, uh, Galosa was hinting at that, I think. Oh. Something tells me this is a bad idea, but I have no choice. Okay, it looks good. Come on, C4326632, you can do it. <laughs> can he really? Okay, just breathe. It's just a small bridge. 
It is totally going you're to snap. A fat box. Uh oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. I can't do it. Maybe when maybe while closing my eyes. Ah, uh, good one. Eyes? <laughs> Does he have eyes? The fuck? What? Uh, zombie gamer. Asphere. Please. Please do not oh. fit in my worldview. Hello. Do not be afraid. I come in peace. <laughs> what the hell are you? You're so ugly. Planet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> War starts. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my world, I'm quite a handsome guy. But I can understand why you wouldn't be able to see that. Because you're racist. <laughs> yeah, he is basically. <laughs> You're not really used to seeing people with my shape. I guess he's technically shapist. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. shapist. <laughs> you don't have any corners. That's that's weird. Okay, this is honestly not the best first contact mission anyone's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice introduction. Shall we move on, or would you like to keep insulting my appearance? Yeah, honestly. I'm here to act as a peace ambassador. My superiors have already made contact. I'm very, I'm very happy to finally meet one of your species. Or I was until you <laughs> showed up. Even if I did not expect someone a little more, oh, even if I did expect someone a little more polite. <laughs> your world is exactly how our old explorers told us it would be, all shaped square. It's amazing. <laughs> All these colors, too. It's a beautiful place. Colors? What do you mean? There are only three colors. Black, white, and gray. What? No, look around you. The world the world is busting with different colors. Reds, greens, blues, yellows. Can you not see them? So they're what dark. What are you talking about? <laughs> Everything's gray. Don't make fun of me. According to Cube Law, you should... What's happening? What, what what are you doing? Where are these lights coming from? How are you doing this? How do you do this right before my favorite show? <laughs> priorities, man. Come on, priorities. <laughs> also, he is secretly Raiden. <laughs> it's... I have nothing to do with this, I swear. Don't come near me. Stay away. I have a middle bar and I'm not afraid to do this. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Stay calm. Actually, I did kind of want to hurt you a moment ago, but now we're in yeah. a panic. Go away! Go away! Uh, that's oh, so oh, oh, and off we fall. Oh. Splat. <laughs> oh, it hurts! <laughs> oh, this got... Oh, no. Ouch. Are you okay? I'm coming so to help you. If you were around like me, you could just bounce, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hello. Oh, nice. This isn't what I expected. These can't be the people I'm supposed to meet. Did I go to the wrong planet? I should contact Central right away and, and then help that poor guy. In that order. In that specific <laughs> In order. That order. <laughs> oh, now you're the round guy. And now everything is round. And the. the, the uh, I have a smartwatch, and the thing is in color, and it's this is nice. I like how the music changed too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the music is completely. All right, let's go on the spaceship. <laughs> uh, as soon as my vape cloud. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh no, the spaceship didn't like the forced landing. All these, all those blinking lights. Don't look good. Maddie? What's going on? Give me a status report. I want to be the computer, please. <laughs> <laughs> the spaceship landed three meters higher than predicted. The damage isn't irreversible, but is not great. Body condition? 90%. Cosmetic damage. That doesn't matter. Engine condition? 60%. Okay, that's not so good. Ignition system, 10%. That's bad. I take it we had to repair that before we could take off. Why did you even bother turning me on? You seem to have all the answers. <laughs> In layman's terms, yes. I've been on this planet five minutes, and everything's gone wrong already. Already, Dr. Wilk. 
<laughs> yeah, he is Roger. He's Roger Wilco as a little a little ball. Also, he, he's already chucked one dude off a roof. So he's 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 both Tex Murphy and Roger Wilco. <laughs> technically, the box chucked his own damn self off the roof. Yeah, well, technically. <laughs> oh, um, for those of you who are not into vaping, uh, allow me to uh, explain what happens if you laugh with your throat full of vape. It's a fun experience, and I think you've just heard what happens. He's Roller Wilco. Thanks for Cobra. Roller Wilco. Wilco. Yeah. Almost as soon as the ball showed up, everybody switched to circle puns. Roller <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wilco. Ball guy. Matty, I need to contact the central. Initiate emergency code four. Someone might be dying at the bottom of this house. I'm not really that interested. <laughs> to initiate an emergency code, I need your emergency password. <laughs> Is it the same as the landing password? No, it's not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Pinball is still cool? No. Yes, Three is. tries remaining before self-destruction. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's such an overreaction. <laughs> Crepes are better than pancakes. No. Two tries remaining. Oh... <laughs> uh... Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible? No. One try remaining. Also, if a system says I'll self-destruct if you get the password wrong, stop trying every damn password you've ever had. Yeah. Just click for God password. It's okay. No one will laugh. I... I don't remember it. This is an emergency. I need to send a message right now. Do you need to recover your password? <laughs> recover my password? I said it's an emergency. Just let me make the call. You have to recover your password first. You'll have to solve simple puzzles to get a new oh, password. Oh, <laughs> Can I not just check a box or something to prove I'm not a robot? Wouldn't that be a circle? Yeah. <laughs> No, this is a secure <laughs> system. This is the only way. May I remind you, this is an emergency. You don't have to remind me. I'm an AI. I never forget anything. Not even that thing you told me four o'clock in the morning last night when you were very drunk <laughs> and rolling around <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing is wrong with me. I don't forget passwords. Ah. Uh. Low blow, Maddie. Fine. Let's see these puzzles. Please don't be a Simon Says puzzle. Please don't be a Simon <laughs> Says puzzle. Nah, this is worse. This is one of those. If, if, if two becomes three, two. If six becomes thirty-six. If eight becomes fifty-eight. What becomes ninety-four? Oh, is that it? That's the way I read it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, that's 14. the same. Fifty-four. Forty-four. Wait. Maybe. Yeah. It's fourteen. 14. Why is it 14? And do I care? 2 plus 6 is 8. 6 plus 8, 14. 8 plus 14, 22. It's a, it's a sequence. 14 would be the same okay. one of the sequence. Okay. Uh, so someone knows math. That's a good thing, because I don't. <laughs> huh. Okay. Now give me the password. Oh, dear. First puzzle completed. <laughs> Two puzzles <laughs> remaining. <laughs> okay. Seriously? Uh, let's see. This is what happens when you let engineers handle field work. Okay. Three puzzles. In an emergency, who has the time for three whole puzzles? Well, maybe this will teach you not to forget your password. <laughs> Serious computer snark. So the AIs become Cortana. Yes. Let's see here. So this is the American education system hard at work, people. No. <laughs> Do it. Should I bring well, out a if, calculator? Well, if nothing else, uh, Galoso says if you don't understand, put a wrong value, and it'll give you the answer. But hang on. <laughs> but you want you want to do this fair and square, right? I, just, I mean, fair, fair I, and circle. Ah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to take the roundabout way. I mean, what? Oh. <laughs> All right, come on. I can, hang on. Let me see. Lucy Farnig is in, into the uh, Red Dwarf Quartet. Would you like a crumpet? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
three, fourteen. I'm guessing zero, but <laughs> why? <laughs> zero? Uh, actually, no, no, zero wouldn't work. Difficulty went up a hell of a lot all of a sudden. I'm, I remember I'm trying that, to... that puzzle from Monkey Island is if six is four, then what is this? And then yeah, yeah, yeah and it's always the it's always just the number just given to you. Yeah, it's always just six, but then that wouldn't work in this case because every, everyone says that puzzle in Monkey Island two is the hardest in the entire game, and once once you work out the rules, which are <laughs> Complete bullshit, by the way. It's uh, super easy. Try 11. Try 11. Oh, one left. Yes. You yeah, got it. Now, please show your work. Okay, so <laughs> the the two uh, on, like, going left and right, there was, like, 17 on the left and then 7, oh. and then 14 on the left and 4. So you basically add 10 to the values on the right. And then under 10 was 15, so you add 5 to that, so... Add five to six, you got eleven. Wow! All right. I, the the difficulty completely spiked here. If I was on my own, I would not have gotten past this. But it's, it's very nice that Colosso says that. Um, well, if you just yeah, keep the wrong rage one. Quit. <laughs> Math and game. Yeah, I would have rage quit. Yeah. For a human, you took significantly longer than average to reach the solution. I solved it in under a microsecond. Who the yep, fuck put Marvin Cortana. the paranoid android in charge? <laughs> Maddie, quit bragging, please. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm not even trying to solve these, by the way. I'm just leaning back, I, doing nothing. I beat that last puzzle. I can beat this one, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a matter of pride now. <laughs> you, oh, Galoso says we get an achievement if we get them all right without any help. Johnny in the chat says he has the answer. Yeah, I saw it. I'm trying to figure out why that might be. <laughs> and that's not an invitation. Please keep the answers out of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a point of pride, people. Yeah. I, I think it's... Oh, no. No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dedication that went into that, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice commitment. Do not look at the chat. Yeah, it's too late. I saw it. He's right. It's 18. <laughs> well, Thanks for keeping yeah. your answers out of the chat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we yes, got an achievement. Same... Yes. All, All, three three puzzles puzzles are All three puzzles. Good job. You can reset your password now. Thanks. What was my password, by the way? Pizza cookie. <laughs> oh, of course. My two favorite food. Yes, it was obvious. So, what will your new password be? <laughs> A more obvious one. Braggy Maggie. Maddie. Saved. If I could bet, I'd wager a lot of money that you'll forget this one too. Not this time, Maddie. Initiate emergency code 4. Password is Braggy Maddie. <laughs> Calling in progress. Oh, Major uh, Edward reporting. What's yes. your the ambassador? Thank you, sir. I have reason to believe I've landed on the wrong planet. Requesting immediate evacuation. Negative, ambassador. According to our calculations, you should have landed right on meteor point. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why do you suspect you're in the wrong place? Maybe because I landed on a house. <laughs> a house. <laughs> a house in a town. Impossible. What are your coordinates? X twenty six Y eighty four. Then you should be in the right place. Wait, is it possible I landed on the wrong face? On which face did you land? <laughs> the puns. <laughs> How should I know? The one with the lunatic cubes who can't see the colors. Ah, so the racism goes both ways. I see. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I met one of the cube people, and well, he couldn't see colors. So basically, he's not racist at all. He wasn't happy either. Then again, a UFO landed on his roof. 
so I suppose he had a right to be a bit upset. Well, he did call you ugly. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Well, most definitely aren't the people you're supposed to be meeting with. I sent you to the triangles. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do then? You need to find the correct side of the planet where the meeting point is. Of course, but which way should I go? Mm, that way. <laughs> no, I don't know, just mold the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. The engines are down. Also, do you have circular dice? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, you're thinking in circular logic there. You'll find a way, Ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst mission I've ever been on. And it's my first. <laughs> Good luck, Ambassador. Let us know when you find them. Call ended. Have you played Space Quest 2? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. If I'm leaving the ship behind, how do I contact them? Your smartwatch. You can use it to make calls. Oh. I've been using it to play pinball this whole time. You are hopeless. You can use it to contact <laughs> me if you get stuck and need help. You don't need to remember a number. Just press the button. Okay, let's do that. Wait, what? My smartwatch. It can do a lot more than just tell 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 the time. But I wanted to press the button. Oh. Oh, is this the one? Nope, that's the pause button. Actually, we might have to get into the pause button over here in a tick, because uh, we are... Ooh. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going out without my uh, survival kit. Oh, yes, Behind yes. Behind the seat. Behind the seat. Really? I don't... <laughs> no, the seat's not even an object. Oh, the hammock. Uh, Space Quest 1 reference. Very Space much. Seat. Yes. <laughs> this hammock is where I slept during my flight. I've got to say, I'll be glad when I get back to my own bed. A hammock and a flying space ball. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just the most comfortable place to get a good night's sleep. Just imagine him rolling up and down like a... <laughs> He's rolling with laughter. <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> being a piece of bastard sometimes. Uh, well, I th I think we're gonna have to end it here, uh, sadly, because we are almost out of time of my life, and uh, I still have to get this <laughs> stuff off my nails before bedtime, which will take. I like out. that <laughs> both games are actually ending on a cliffhanger in a way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, people are encouraged to download them and play them. Well, that is what we do around here. Uh, this is, in fact, one of the best ways of marketing your game ever. Just send a code <laughs> straight to contact at spacequesthistorian.com. <laughs> and I will play it with my friends and uh, make Got funny a bunch of idiots voices. Rip on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Unavowed would not have sold nearly as well if I hadn't. No, wait, the other thing. <laughs> I'm personally personally responsible for Dave Gilbert's success. No, um, I got a cheer. I don't. It wasn't me this time. I swear. <laughs> uh, no, that was uh, Johnny Carcinogen donating a, donating a dollar on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Johnny! Yay! Yay for Johnny! <laughs> yes, uh, Lucy <laughs> says these were interesting games tonight, and I quite agree. And uh, and. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to return to the menu here. Actually, I don't know why, because I could... <gasps> Does this thing autosave? Um, oh, maybe it's in color now. Look at this. Or was it wasn't in color before, I can't remember. It was. <laughs> it was. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that could have been an interesting touch, though. I wonder if there's an Easter egg hiding behind the correct key combination here. Oh, there oh, has to be. Oh, down, A675309. Down, right. <laughs> Wait, what's, the, what's that one? Um, I'll, I'll just I'll just nod and smile. Yeah, I had to cut that last bit out because that was just me punching in the incorrect code about a million times until someone reminded me that it was just a reference to a song or something like that. I can't remember. It was very embarrassing. Now, I usually share my embarrassment with the people you see scrolling on the screen right now. They're called patrons. They just disappeared, but they are no less important to my life because they get to sit in on the live stream and embarrass me in front of the entire world, which I rather enjoy. So thank you, patrons, all of you. And you can join too. There, are, there is a live voice chat in the Discord. You can join. Join today. Join, you little swine. <laughs>